Hi there. Today we're going to book airfare and concur. We start from our concur homepage and I'm booking a trip for myself. If I were booking for a non-employee UCSD guest, I would select book for a guest, but I'm booking for myself. My from airport defaults based on my profile preferences and I type in the location I am going to. In situations like New York where there's multiple airports, it's best practice to select area airports. That's gonna bring up every airport option for you in that local city destination. I'm going to New Orleans though. So I'm gonna type in New Orleans and there's only one airport in that area to select from. I select my departure date and I want to depart in the morning, give or take six hours. This is fully customizable for you if you prefer a different time range. And I come back the following Wednesday. I know I want to leave in the early evening, so I'm gonna change this to evening, give or take six hours. Again, you can customize this. And I select search. Concur is gonna ask me if this is a business trip or a personal trip. I'm going on a business trip, so I select business. I enter in my required pre-authorized trip number. This is a number generated from your, recur your concur request, and I select next. Concur is searching the entire inventory of all airfare for the airfare that is most applicable to your selections. It's gonna start kicking back information very shortly. It takes a little longer than public sites because it's applying company policy information and it's bringing back the options that make the most sense for a business trip. Concur does not hide any fares. Business class and first class are not bookable online, but can be specially accommodated by contacting Balboa Travel directly. It's still working on bringing back our results. You can see the green search bar is not complete. As the results start to come in, you're gonna see this matrix gets completed with all of your options. It defaults to shop by fares, but if you prefer, you can shop by a schedule. This means you can select each leg of your journey individually. I prefer to shop by fares, but it's a personal preference. I can also sort by a variety of options. Mine defaults to price, but if you want to, you can select duration, policy, stops, and my personal favorite, emissions. This will give you information on flight searches based on their carbon emissions. Here we see all of the results that have come up. You can pick your airline. If it says preferred, that means that you see California has a contract with that airline. You can see that Spirit does not say preferred because we do not contract with that airline. I know in my case, I'd like to fly Southwest. I'm going to select Southwest. And I'm gonna scroll down to see my options. Concur is very informative. It's gonna give you a lot of information that you'd like to see. A yellow exclamation point is going to give you a warning. In this case, it's telling you that this flight selection is greater than $200 of the least logical airfare. It's okay to book this. UC policy says most economical means of transport. That doesn't always mean the cheapest. It means the one that makes the most sense for your business needs. You can also see there's little red stopwatches or timers. This tells you that there's a short layover, short connection. My personal choice is to avoid a short connection. I don't like to feel rushed, but this is entirely up to you and your travel preferences. I know I'm selecting Southwest, but for informational purposes, let's take a look at United. Be aware that some of the legacy carriers like United, Delta, and American have basic economy fares. Although these fares are very inexpensive and conforms technically to our company travel policy, this is not a fare we recommend for the business traveler. It's okay to book for personal, and this just shows that Concur does not hide options from you. All fares are going to be visible in Concur. 
even the ones that are not desirable for business travel. All right, let me go back to my Southwest preference. I know that I would like to have as short a layover as possible without getting the too short of a connection. So I'm gonna scroll down to find what I'd like to fly on. Again, this is your personal preference. I am picking an actual flight that suits my needs. And I'm going to pick, see if this one's any good. There's a four hour layover in Phoenix. That is a long layover, but I'm okay with that. And a shorter layover on the return. Each fare option has information, the rules and the benefits. It tells you if it's refundable. And again, Concur will warn you if there's anything that you need to know before you purchase your ticket. This is my flight selection. I've done some research prior to doing this video, so I know I want this one. A page comes up to review flights. I'm going to depart in the morning of Thursday, September 14th. I have a long layover and I get to New Orleans at 5.35. Returning, I leave New Orleans at 4.45. I have a shorter layover and I get back home at 9.05. I am the primary traveler. My email is loaded already. Because I'm a Rapid Rewards member with Southwest and that information's in my profile, my frequent flyer number pulls through. I can review my price summary. If this was an airline where you would select a seat, you do have the option here. However, we advise that you do not select your seat from Concur. You go to the airline website after you've booked your ticket. The method of payment defaults to the university card. This is the card that is on file in Concur for all university airfare. If this were a personal trip, I would have selected my personal credit card instead. I also have my T&E card in here for hotel or car rentals. I am selecting the airfare card, it defaults. There's a warning that this is a non-refundable ticket. I'm aware of that. I'm gonna reserve the flight and continue. Concur once again is processing. It is sending my ticket information through to the actual purchasing end at Balboa Travel, who is the travel agency that sits behind our instance of Concur. Concur does not actually issue tickets. The agency that sits behind Concur is the agency of record that actually issues tickets. It's always important to read any pop-up box that comes up in Concur. In this case, it's talking about a seat selection, but Southwest does not have seat selection, so this does not apply to me and this ticket. I have my trip overview. I'm going to New Orleans. I double check my dates and my times. I have a request identification from my Concur request. I am the passenger. This is the name that matches my government identification. I review my itinerary once more. If I wanted to, I could add to my itinerary. I could add airfare, additional airfare. I could add hotel. I could add a rental car if I wanted. I don't need those things in this case. It's going to give me the fair rules once again, just so I'm familiar. There's information on the restrictions. And this is important. Ticket is not yet issued. Airfare quoted in the itinerary is not guaranteed until tickets are issued. I need to click a few more buttons before I actually get my ticket issued. I'm gonna click next. It's telling me my trip does not have car or hotel. That's okay. I don't need it in this case. So I click okay. Once again, my booking information comes up. It is optional to enter a trip description, but I'm going to enter my business purpose. If I wanted, I could send a copy of the confirmation to a different email, a family member, a coworker, that sort of thing. I'm gonna send it to my personal email. There's no need to unless you want to. 
You can make the trip private if this is a personal trip. You can share it to your network if you would like to. You can see the tickets on hold. Once again, there's a number of buttons. I'm going to click next. I want to book that ticket. It's more clicks than you think it is. And I'm on the trip confirmation page. I'm almost done. Scroll down to complete your reservation. Yes, concur. I will do that. Once again, I'm reviewing my trip details. This is the last chance I have um, before booking the ticket to make any changes. And I'm going to purchase the ticket. Purchasing a ticket and concur means that I get the university's negotiated rates and benefits, along with Balboa Travel's full support along the duration of the trip. My itinerary has also been sent to UC's insurance so that I am registered as a business traveler and I'm covered under the travel insurance policy. And I'm finished. I've booked my trip. There's important contact information. This is Balboa Travel. I have a trip overview. You'll see that it says airfare must be ticketed by 816. That is tomorrow. That's okay, that's normal. So this is it, I've booked my trip. Tomorrow my, my trip will be ticketed, the ticket will be complete. There is no further action needed. I can once again print my itinerary, email it. I can view it in the TripIt app and I can return to the Travel Center. Travel Center is Concur's sort of library of all of your trips. I've clicked on return to Travel Center just to see what it looks like and show you all what it looks like. Here is my trip. I'm confirmed, start date, end date. I can cancel the trip if I want to. I do not want to cancel this. I'm going on this trip. You can click into it and it's going to show me my full itinerary. That's all there is to it. It's important to note that if you were booking an international trip or a multi-leg trip, you might want to contact Balboa Travel to get help directly. Their agents are trained in UC policy as well as the University of California's uh, business requirements. They know our mission and they know where our travelers need to go. So again, Balboa Travel is the best place to book your international or complex trip, as well as making any sort of upgrades like business class or uh, first class travel because you have a medical or business need. Perfect, here are my travel details and we are done. I'm ready to go on my conference. Thanks for joining me today.